Come on. Would, would you like to net, Larry? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> yeah, baby. Folks, we are extremely lucky, being from the Midwest, that we have the Great Lakes as our backyard. Right on! Hey, there you go. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Middlest Outdoors, and today we are on one of the Great Lakes. Fishing with Andrew Pohl, local guide from Buffalo. And we're after these guys. And the Great Lakes have them, and Lake Erie is one of the best. Right, Andrew? Absolutely. <laughs> it's uh, one of the top-ranked smallmouth fisheries in North America, and during the pre-spawn phase that we're in right now, I would rank it right, at the, right near the top great way to start the day. We got a perfect weather day today, but hopefully we're going to catch a lot of these. We're going to talk to this guy about how we're doing it and what we're doing to, to put more fish in the boat. Get him, Andrew! Get him, Andrew! <laughs> <laughs> Netter or no? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Don't know yet. Oh, man. Three football. and a half pounder. Oh, yeah. I'll just grab him. Not quite ready yet. Now that's the fun of it. You got to play it out, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. Man, they're beautiful fish. About a three pounder, drop shotting a shad bait. Nice little three to three and a half pound smallmouth. And what they're keying on out here right now, you can see that it's got a nice white belly to it. These are winter fish moving up into the pre-spawn pre uh, stage. We're fishing a deep contour line break. First week of May, second week of May, and catch some beautiful smallmouth like this. What we want to do is try to stay off of these fish so we don't spook them up. And the spot here is on a little underwater point on a ridge. And what we want to do is stay off, keep the nose into the wind, and we're going to spot lock and cast up onto them while keeping about 100 to 150 foot distance. And what a lot of other people will do on Lake Erie is they'll just drift, and which is good. And you never want to start right on top of your waypoints where you're drifting. You want to line your boat up with the wind, put it to the side, and drift over your fish so you're not spooking them with the big motor as you're pulling up on them. So you got bait here. Fish. I'm live. And fish right on Andrew's rod. Man, you were right. You just switched over a little bit to the right. It's a tiny little shell bed that they sit on on the edge. Oh, That's yeah. That's a real good one. Woo. These are the ones we're after. <laughs> Right on. Oh, geez, look at the tussle that thing's got. That's a big one right, right there. Right on, Andrew. Now, these are pre-spawn fish, right? Correct. So these are fish that are actually on the inside of a flat right before they move up into the next break where it comes up into even shallower water on the Great Lakes. And they're just out here feeding on alawives and emerald shiners. They're not really on gobies yet, but yeah, beautiful pre-spawn smallmouth. That is. That one I felt the little thun. Little thug. That was a long cast, too. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and that might be the deal, too. Is sometimes spot locking and making long casts really, really help. Jump in the boat. Right Jump in the boat. Rod. Jump in the boat. Yeah. yeah. Right on. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Good job. Got him on the, the max scent. Flat nose minnow. Beautiful fish. God. They're, they're chunky here. Look at the belly on these guys. Nice job, buddy. Really anything six and a half to seven two rods, maybe medium action, medium light action, fast tips. You wanna get a long cast out there. Um, the stuff we're using is very sensitive. It's a very finesse presentation. Your natural color looking baits is a very clear water lake. And, and we got one right behind us. <laughs> I didn't mean to spoil your talking point, but no, that's Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I like it when that happens. You want me to net them? Sure. All right. You're right there. Nice. <laughs> Scoop them up. It's like Grand Central Station right here, baby. <laughs> one goes out, one comes in. This would be a spawner, right, or no? Yeah, that's going to be a big female probably, but wow. they're keyed on those minnow just big bait fish. So like that's part of the reason why they're so thick. Your basis is gonna be white style baits and then as it comes out of the pre-spawn and where they're get off of feeding on minnows, then you'll move to your green pumpkins and just real natural imitate what they're eating. And 
pre-spawn they're eating minnows so we'll use what looks like a minnow got them take your time those are the ones i saw i hope so <laughs> <laughs> it's just staying down not coming up at all there he is oh real good one butterball come here buddy yeah right on there you go <laughs> This is why we're lucky to have the Great Lakes as our backyard, and especially Lake Erie for large smallies. Folks, and if you want to come up to Lake Erie and enjoy some of this great buffalo fishing, Andrew, how do they get a hold of you? Social media is Full Fishing Guide Service. We also have an awesome website where we put a weekly fishing blog up, usually. Uh, that is fullfishingguideservice.com. Or you can give me a call, 716-535-0908. And uh, we yes, get you out. And catch. The other thing you do is you have a podcast. Yeah, Serious Angler Network. Uh, we have four shows every week. We in, uh, interview all the industry heads here, like Larry. We have a time, interview pros, talk bass fishing, largemouth and smallmouth. But this guy knows his stuff up here on Lake Erie. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors. I want to thank Andrew for joining us today. More Midwest is right around the corner. We'll catch you later.